Tarifa hii ambapo uamuzi wa jaji kutoka kaunti ya Muranga umemuokoa mwalimu mmoja kutoka shule ya upili ya Watuha. Hii ni baada ya mwanafunzi mmoja kumshtaki kwa kosa la kumpiga darasani. Familia ya mwanafunzi huyo imesema itakata rufaa uamuzi huo wa jaji. Gina Kirori ana mengi zaidi. Tarehe moja mwezi wa Juni mwaka huu katika eneo ya Kangema kaunti ya Muranga maisha ya mwalimu mmoja yalikuwa karibu kubadilika baada ya mwanafunzi wake ambaye tutaziba jina lake kamili na kumpa jina Nancy Njeri kwa kuwa ana umri mdogo alimshtaki kwa makosa ya kumpiga shuleni baada ya Nancy Njeri kukataa kwenda kanisani siku ya Jumapili akiwa shuleni kwa shule ya upili ya Watuha Siku mbili baadaye mwalimu Robert alikamatwa na maafisa wa polisi na kapelekwa mahakamani. The following day they reported the matter at Kangema Police Station. Then they went to the hospital where she was treated and discharged. That, that now she is forced to wear hearing aid because she has issues with her ears. Mwanafunzi huyo aliita mashahidi wanne kuhakikisha kauli yake akiwemo daktari ambaye alimtibu na afisa wa polisi ambaye alishughulikia kesi yake. Peter Dew stated that the bloodstained blouse was not presented to the police station. So he, he was not aware of any bloodstained blouse. Mmoja wa mashahidi wa Njeri ni mwanafunzi mwenzake ambaye awali alikubali kauli ya Njeri, lakini hilo lilibadilika mahakamani. At first she did not record a true statement because Peter Brown had told her to say that she had been assaulted by the teacher so that she could go home that PW1 told her the teacher would pay for forcing her to go to church that while they were there PW1 picked up a stick and pricked her ear and blood started oozing from her ear i further find that the prosecution has failed to prove its case against the accused person here in beyond any reasonable doubt and consequently I quit you the accused person under section 215 of CPC. Mwalimu Robert ambaye alikuwa karibu kufungwa jela kulingana na mashtaka ya kuumiza Njeri anasema kwa upande wake tukio hilo lilianza wakati aliona Njeri amelala akiwa kanisani. When he saw the student sleeping he tapped her to wake up but she refused. That she stood up to go to the toilets and took a long time and he went to look for her. One of the students told him that the student had gone to the classroom. Familia ya Nancy Njeri imesema itakata rufaa maamuzi ya jaji Martin Mutegi. Ningependa haki yangu ionekane cause uh, sijaona haki yangu na zapenda kwa kesi yangu tutoe hii kwa hii kote tupeleke kwingine cause haki yangu sijaona kama mtoto. Daktari alisema nime damage uh, vibaya sana kuliko for the first time when you dikwa na it take time by the time ipone. Sijaridhika na huo uamuzi kwa hivyo kwa uchungu wa mwana kama mzazi na niko na, na niko na hakika hiyo ilitendeka kwa sababu ni mimi ndio nilikuwa mtu wa, wa, wa kwanza kuona mtoto wangu na nikaendelea na yeye kwa matibabu sikuridhika na huo uamuzi Njeri anasema tangu tukio hilo kufanyika imemlazimu kupata mashine ya kumwezesha kusikia na bado anashikilia kauli yake Ngina Kirori NTV Na mtazamaji kwa miaka mingi vi